Hi everyone, welcome to lesson three of maths this week. Yesterday we spoke again of capacity and then we talked about taking an estimate, which is a guess, a rough guess, based on your prior knowledge. I'm about to show you the learning intention of what we're going to do today. Our learning intention for today is to estimate and measure container capacity. You will be successful if you can firstly estimate and then accurately measure each container's capacity. So yesterday I created a line from smallest to largest using a variety of different containers based on what I thought had different size capacities. I am now going to choose five of those items and line them back up from smallest to largest. Here I have my five different items that I have ordered on the left from smallest to on the right to largest capacity based on what I think. Okay, here we have a mug, a small container, a glass container, a beetroot holder, I call it, and a drink bottle. I'm now going to show you the worksheet for today where you are going to use one cup of measurement or one cup of water to see how many cups fit into each, co each container. Here is today's worksheet of measuring, comparing and ordering capacity. Now you have a table down the bottom which is asking you to list your containers on the, left cent of, on the left hand side, which I've asked for five different containers. You are then going to make a rough estimate, okay? Remember a rough prediction of how many cups you think will go into or fit into each container. And then you are going to accurately measure the capacity of each container. Here I have my measuring cups. And today I'm going to be using the one cup measurement, which is at the very bottom. And it's telling me that one cup is 250 millilitres. I'm going to also show you the other cups that fit inside each other. We have half a cup, the purple. The blue cup is one third. And then the yellow is one quarter. Then you're looking at your tablespoon, the orange. And then the green is the half a tablespoon. Okay, so I'm going to do the first one with you. I have chosen to do the mug first, which is quite a small, what I'm thinking, has quite a small capacity. Now I have a large bowl of water and I have one, and I have my one cup of measurement. Okay, so I'm going to first make a prediction, estimate how many cups I think will fit. I'm going to get my pen now and I'm going, sorry, texture in my mouth. I'm going to roughly guess or estimate two cups of water. Okay, you can see that I've put in the middle column two cups. All right, I'm now going to get my one cup measurement and scoop a full container, a little bit tricky, and I'm going to pour it into the cup. All right, here we go, first cup. Actually going to run it around on the tap. Thanks for being patient. Okay, I've got my second cup of water. I'm pouring it in. Oh, I think my prediction, my estimate was pretty correct. So the mug here holds two cups of water. So in the last column, it says measurement, number of cups. I now know that there are exactly two cups. Okay, now I'm, I was quite lucky there, my estimate was um, correct. But let's see how you go as the containers get bigger. Okay, so I've now finished my worksheet. My estimations were quite um, good, I guess I could say, quite accurate to um, the accurate measure or the accurate capacity per container. Now I've had a look at the drink bottle and the drink bottle was a one litre drink bottle. And I know from looking at the cup measurement that one cup equaled 250 millilitres. Now I've had a think and I know that 250 millilitres is one quarter of one litre. So four of those, four times 250 equals one litre. So I probably could have got that one right, but I didn't. All right, enjoy this activity. It was quite fun. Don't make too much of a mess in your kitchen. I know I probably had a bit of trouble videoing at the same time, but most importantly, have fun and enjoy this activity. 
I can't wait to see your work on Dojo. Bye.